YouTube family and welcome to my channel. Today's topic is about loosen, shrink, belly fat around the midsection of the stomach. It's an issue that worries many women after giving birth, also many people for health reasons and women that may spend many hours at the gym and not see results. At this point, I would like you to grab a piece of paper and a pen and start taking some notes because what I'm about to say will benefit you if you're one of these people mentioned. I'm gonna list five things you must focus on if you wanna lose belly fat and also things to eliminate or avoid to help you see noticeable changes fast and also sustain it. So let's start with breaking down the fat in the midsection. The fat in our midsection is made up both of subcutaneous and visceral fat. Subcutaneous is the fat that you can see and pinch. For those who are working hard to tone the core with planks and crunches, is the fat that covers up the ab muscles. This type of belly fat is typically used by the body to store excess energy and calories for you to be able to perform certain activities during the day. While some may consider it more of an aesthetic issue relative to its belly fat cousin, visceral fat. Visceral fat is found around our internal organs, deeper within our body. When someone has extreme amount of visceral fat, it can expand the midsection so much that actually feels hard to touch. So the focus areas to target in order to eliminate belly fat, it's first starting with your meals. How many meals you're having per day, including snacks, will matter. So if you're a beginner and don't know what kind of diet to follow or how much you should be eating, I suggest to start with three to two meals per day. We don't want to starve ourselves because this will spike up our insulin hormone and we do not want that. The portion of food consumed in order to lose belly fat and the overall weight matters. You should be in a calorie deficit. What this means is that you have to be burning more fat and energy than the calories you are consuming during the day. Some people weigh food in order to stay on the right track. If you are the type that counting calories is not your thing, then I have an article written and I will leave it below in the description on how to stay on the right track without the need of counting calories. Second thing, cut out the processed food and sugar that will actually increase your insulin hormone levels. Whatever comes in a box or a bag and you do not actually know what uh, gradients are stuffed inside. Instead, try to add veggies. Veggies will flush out the fat that comes out from your liver. Add protein. Protein will make you feel full for a longer time and also helps with muscle recovery. Add healthy fat into your meals. Healthy fat will also make you feel full for a longer time and doesn't increase your insulin hormone level. Moving on with constipation. Constipation, guys, your digestion is so important. I hear many women wanna lose weight and complain that they feel bloated all day, but they do not follow the right nutrition. Moving on, checking your water intake. Checking your water intake is so essential if you wanna lose your belly fat and your overall weight. It helps your metabolism work better and it also makes you feel full. A tip is to have with you a bottle of water that reminds you to stay hydrated. I have, I use this uh, water bottle from Gallon Gear. I always carry it with me. It reminds me to stay hydrated. I will leave the link below in the description so you could go check it out and also my discount code, which is KFIT, and you could get 15% off with each purchase. You can't outrun a bad diet. Now, I know that you have probably heard that before, but it's so important, so you will see me say this a lot. 
I've also seen women just doing cardio or run on a treadmill. What I recommend is trying metabolic resistant training. Metabolic strength training involves maximizing your metabolic demand, which means you burn more as many calories you can during the workout, but also after the workout. Some of those exercises are squats, overhead press, dips, uh, with small rest, and go through them again. So we build strength and muscle. And when we build muscle, we burn fat. And we sustain this burning process. Because as I said, we continue burning even after workout. So eventually we make our body a burning machine. Your metabolism can be elevated up to 24 hours. So now my 90 day program consists of exercises that will boost your metabolism. I will leave a link below uh, to book your free 30 minutes call with me and start planning your customized workout and meal plan based on your specific goals and needs. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope this video helped a lot and please let me know in a comment below what are the kind of videos you would like me to create for you in the future. Thank you once again. See you soon.